To really ground your terrain with the right biome type is all about giving it that extra bit of character that truly drives the wow factor of a terrain. That pop of color. Materials provide a new limitless range of possibilities with World Creator 2023, and there are four types of materials we can apply. Colors, gradients, Adobe substances, and custom textures. The best way to initially learn how to apply each of these types is to begin by using colors. Just like with filters, materials are listed under each biome you create. The default base color, along with any new material you add by clicking the plus icon on the material section and choosing color, will always render as white, but you can change it in the color layers property panel to any RGB value, a hex value, or by adjusting the hue, saturation, and brightness sliders. Not only will the terrain change to the color you've selected, but the preview box and color swatch next to the color layer will also match. In the color selection box, you'll see the eyedropper icon, which will let you color pick any pixel color that your mouse cursor is hovering over on the screen. With this image, just hover your mouse over the spot you want to sample the color from, press spacebar, and that color layer will essentially accept that new value. This can be a quick and easy way to thematically choose colors without any hassle, especially when we discuss gradients in the next video. For the time being, the main remaining options in the properties panel for a single color is deciding its metallic and roughness values. Of course, the power of materials and the true benefit to starting with single color values first is ultimately to learn how to design the way these colors will be painted on the terrain. The driving force here is the same distribution rules and effects we touched on in the previous episode with filters. Within each color layer you create, you'll want to guide where on the terrain within a biome's boundary this color will go by adding a distribution rule layer. Choosing a mix of distribution rule layers and practicing how they govern the location of the color will help you become a better material designer in World Creator. Additionally, don't forget to browse through the different effects layers that can not only adjust the mask that each individual distribution rule has, but by adding an effect layer to the main distribution layer itself will give you another level of adjustment by globally controlling the combined mask output to any number of distribution rules you have under this specific color layer. Another useful way we can use a color layer is to tone a large stack of colors or textures together as you see in this example so their tint values for a specific style biome can be cohesive. Adding a new color layer, establishing the right tint value, and changing the fill value of this color in its distribution layer to a lower value will help unify all these colors thematically. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.